DNA. What is it? Well, simply put, DNA is life's blueprint, a molecule that encodes genetic instructions used in the development of all known living organisms and viruses. It's a nucleic acid, typically in the form of a double helix or twisted ladder. The backbone consists of two long biopolymers containing simpler units called nucleotides. The nucleotides form the rungs of the ladder and are connected through hydrogen bonding. DNA is a hardy molecule containing a variable genetic code that can be replicated, making it useful in the world of forensic science. So how is it utilized? Forensic DNA analysis is a multi-step process that begins with identifying biological stains containing DNA on items of evidence submitted to a lab. This can be blood, semen, saliva, skin cells, hair, or any biological material containing cells with the nucleus. The next step is removing the DNA from the nucleus, a process called extraction. Here, cells are broken open using a combination of chemicals and heat to release the contents of the nucleus, the location where the DNA is stored. The extraction often includes a cleanup process, producing purified DNA. The following step of analysis is to determine how much DNA was retrieved from the cells through a process called quantitation. Quantitation is important because the next step requires a specific amount of DNA to achieve optimal results. Too much or too little requires the DNA concentration to be adjusted before proceeding. After quantitation comes the amplification process where specific regions of the DNA molecule are targeted and copied. During the amplification process, fluorescent tags are placed on the targeted regions of the DNA, which will be utilized in the last step. We have finally reached the detection process where the copied fragments of DNA are separated by size and passed through a laser. When this laser hits the fluorescent tags added earlier, they become excited and emit a specific color fluorescence. A camera determines the color of the tag and the intensity of the fluorescence. The ultimate result is a DNA profile containing a set of one or two numbers, the genotype, at the different regions tested, the loci. One of the numbers represents the DNA inherited from the mother, and the other represents the father, linking the subject to each parent. Currently, DNA testing gives results at a minimum of 20 core areas. Results at all areas are considered to be a full profile. If an individual's DNA profile matches at all tested areas to a DNA profile developed from evidence at a crime scene, then law enforcement can use that data to place the individual at the location.